Ethan DeLorman and Mason Contrancy, the lawyer of the defendant. Ethan DeLorman and the lawyer of the defendant, Mason Contrancy. Where's Mr. Mason? Calm down, he'll be here soon, I promise. Ethan DeLorman and the defendant's lawyer, is. Mason Contrancy. I'm here, I'm here. It's okay, I'm here. You look fine. Go on. So, Your Honor, my conclusion is that my client had nothing to do with this affair. In any case, if you wish to inspect the file, you'll be able to conclude that there's no evidence connecting him to Kareem Ozdemir's disappearance at all. Yes, I see your lawyer has filed your written statement. You claim you're innocent in your statement. So let's hear it from you here today. Please tell us. Your Honor, I have nothing to do with this affair. I have nothing to add, and I agree with the defense that my lawyer has presented. Your Honor, the only basis for my client being suspected, as can be seen from the testament of the security forces, is the statement taken from Nuri Kobanaglu while he was still in the hospital. He has just recently come out of a coma and still under treatment, and thus it was given under out-of-the-ordinary circumstances. But Nuri Kobanaglu has since then finished treatment and changed his statement now, Your Honor, and he tells a completely different story as part of his new statement. Thus, you see the condition of the evidence. I demand that Nuri Kobanaglu now be summoned to the court so that he can testify. His statement is present inside the case file. I have no knowledge that Ethan DeLorman has anything to do with the kidnappers of Kareem Ozdemir because I had suffered from severe trauma. I made a mistake. I do not know the people who abducted Kareem Ozdemir. I never saw their faces and cannot comment. Uh, A decision has been reached due to the fact that the statement of Nuri Kabanaglu contains discrepancies. He will be summoned to this court to testify in an upcoming hearing on a date that will be determined at my discretion. Secondly, upon inspection of existing evidence, as the suspect is not considered a flight risk, it has been decided that he will be released from prison. Thirdly, the second hearing will take place on the 21st of January, 2014.
Well, you succeeded in getting that man off the hook. Now what do we do? Now you go home. 